Greetings, man. So welcome to the channel. Some World of Warcraft classic era season of Discovery gameplay. I throw the word era in there because technically it is classic era. There's no expansions whatsoever. But there are some extra powers that you can be given through runes. They sort of act as like enchantments and you can apply them an unlimited amount of time. And it's, uh, it's great fun. There's also events like the whole sky can go red when there's a blood moon. I have it turned off uh, because there can be like PvP elements and shit. Look at that. Mark of the Wild, 45 minutes. And I am in the jungle, man. Just southwest of the infamous uh, thing there. Whatever that area is. Just southwest of Nessingwary Expedition. Just to kind of give you a little bit of a perspective as to where I am. So here's the whole map. That's it. No Northrend. No nothing. And I am in the Eastern Kingdoms right there. I like doing that for people, uh, for the few people that do watch me sometimes. They either kind of forget or, or they need like a slight reminder of like, oh, well, where are you? If I just say, well, I'm here. That's it. Figure it out. Stranglethorn Vale. So that, that's why I do that. I mean, most people will just know where it is, but it's in case you don't. So again, I'm just having fun i'm not offering any any tips or or anything exciting i wish i was because then maybe i'd start making some money on these videos which will never happen i get such low views on these videos i which it, we can laugh about it i honestly don't even think i trigger monetization in the sense of like actually getting like money from these world of warcraft videos I'm not saying they're worth anything, but come on now. I don't even make a nickel. I don't even know. Most of my videos don't even trigger like one penny. I think out of more than half my World of Warcraft videos I've ever made, like a good couple of hundred, and I think in combination, I've made like a buck, literally a dollar, right? When you're a hoe for something, you'll do it for free. Follow the path up. Oh, yeah, okay, we gotta do another. There is something about about him. I don't trust him. I know he turns into something, into like a water elemental, I think. Looks like it's raining. I don't see the rain. But I see the, unless that's just not rain. A little bit interesting. I don't recall seeing that. Ever. There used to be some of these that were elites as well, closer to Gromgal. But this one, it's where we click on a... on a tablet? And you're lucky I didn't record that first part where I got all those uh, items I needed from the elementals. That took me almost uh, a half hour, just so you know. Yeah, see, I got the buff here, the Zandalari Ward. Magic protects me from the madness of the Blood Moon. I really gotta stop doing that. It's cringy, but I, I enjoy it. I don't know why I'm hung up on all these little ripples. Anyways, whatever. Click the Emperor's Tomb. The fourth troll legend. Well, let's just go to that first. You may remember this little section here. The Zoldea Ruins. Don't worry. If I do that again with my voice, I'll, I'll slap myself. Don't worry. And now that I'm 47 and I'm a big boy, I'm not worried about somebody throwing spears in between my fucking eyeballs. No problemo. 
This is why I like being higher than I'm supposed to. Because even with that in mind and some half-decent up-to-date gear, look at how much damage I'm taking. Of course, I've got my veggie shake. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, it's so good. Hold on one second. Oh. I gotta wait for my... my food to be ready. I keep adjusting my pillow that I have behind me because it allows me to put my elbows on it and not my hard armrest of my expensive gaming chair. Pretty ridiculous that I gotta do that. That's if I do long sessions, because I normally just use a controller. But for something like World of Warcraft, naturally, that's not gonna happen. It's in here, kitty bitch. My claws are much sharper than yours. And you just got neutered. There we go. I knew it was coming. A little rain in the jungle. Oh, you can hulk up all you want. A little late for that. Now, what I love about the rain... I know I keep going on about this. The few people that watch me are going to be like, Seriously, is he going to go on about the goddamn rain? Just just look at it. It's not as good as before, but that, like, mist that you see, that's still there. Not quite as good as the OG World of Warcraft, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll deal with it. I still think the game should get a weather slider with everything else they've been frickin' implementing into the game. I figure they might as well do that. Somebody be lurking. Who you be? Oh, that's funny. I could technically attack him. Get him, boy! Watch me freak him out. Bam! Oh! I am forsaken. Well, not really. He is. I still have my flesh. Thank you. That's teamwork. They know I'm I'm hoardy for the horde. Excellent. I just gotta make sure. Oh boy. No, no, you're not, you're not healing. I'm in good shape. This is kind of fun. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally hit Bozo there, who didn't turn off his uh, thing, which I don't blame him, because technically we, we could argue and say it makes you a chicken shit. Zulaman. I couldn't resist. I really, I really couldn't. I couldn't help it.
I want to make sure I don't flag myself for the PvP. -p. By the light of the moon. Wow, he fucks them up pretty quick. Oops. I mean, we're not. Mad Kitty. I think I'm just supposed to, according to my guide. Um. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll follow that. Man, it's pouring. I love it. So I kill slower than that rogue, but I get obviously other skills that nobody else has. You need decent gear, from what I remember, to be able to go to that extreme to kill that fast as a rogue. Not too sure where they went, but that was kind of fun. I like that. That hunter was stressing me out, though. Because I... Ah, you little shit turd. Because like I said, I turned that thing off, so I feel like I shouldn't even have the option to accidentally attack them, but it, it makes sense because it is a world PvP thing. It's like being in the arena. Man, look at that misty fog, eh? It's all that hot, sticky humidity. I was going to say I could almost feel it, but that, that'd be a lie. I got my AC blasted all the way up to 18 degrees Celsius. Yeah, my food. Oh, my food's gonna be here. You don't throw a net on me. I'm not looking to go anywhere. Throw the net on me. All right, it's time to let go of the net. Oh. This is what I live for, honestly. I mean, not for accidentally almost teabagging that gnome. But just helping people out, seeing someone about to get their arses kicked. And, uh, I can't see a damn thing. And I like it. Yeah, to me, like, I kill slower than that rogue there, but I definitely love my druid. I love all characters. Um, the whole undead rogue thing was one of my biggest loves, one of my first big serious characters, along with my undead priest. 
But pretty much everything has ended up becoming very, very serious. I geared everybody, leveled everything up. It didn't matter if it was Horde or Alliance. I've literally played both sides equally. I am almost done this. You can see the pace of that. Yeah, that's right. I feel like I want to take your... Oh, not around that corner. Come see me. Come on. Don't be shy. Two more. I just can't get over the storm. I think more so because it doesn't happen too, too often. Honestly, I may just even... How long have I already been recording for? 17 minutes. Okay, well, most of my videos are usually around 20 minutes. So maybe like the elemental bracers and then just getting those couple of tablets and collecting 15 blood scale bears. Will be it. That'll be the video. Leave on a high note. Well, that and I got to get my food and I don't know if I want to pause it and then come back. Kind of funny. Come here, Kitty. Come play with the Voodoo Man. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you lose your pet? You could have tried to tame me, but I would end up betraying you. Done. Get I head on over to Nessing Wary. Convenient. The rain ended just as I got the last ear. That's some conspiracy theory shit right there. Alex Jones would probably have something funky to say about that. I'm just saying. And yes, I am going to poke fun at it because this is all just having fun. He also said once that he believed that um, he got Joe Biden to use a uh, like a weather weapon. And created a tornado that killed a bunch of people in uh, in Texas some years ago. I was like, mm, I could do shit right there. I mean, there's cloud seeding and all that, but come on now, creating tornadoes. Mind you, in some ways, it wouldn't surprise me if someday we do have that uh, technology. But for now, I'm gonna go with uh, nope. It ain't happening. I buy and trade. Well, that's good because my bags are kind of full. Safe Actually, travels. I'm going to do that after. I am going to. Well, log out here. Again, there's some 
funky puddles going on. I'm going to shadow meld as I'm drinking. And that'll be it. So thumbs up as always if you liked the video. It does greatly help support that channel with the algorithm and trying to make me more relevant in search results when people are looking shit up. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half, twist it, and I'll break off this here thing inside of your derriere. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be fantastic. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.